Welcome to Whispering Willows. A game about a girl named Elena who goes to an abandoned, haunted mansion in search of her missing father, but in the process has to interact with the spirits of the dead. Solve their mysteries to reach the truth of her own mystery. This game's been in my Steam library for a while. Got it for a while. A while back, because the pre premise really intrigued me. I'm always down for more. Spirit interaction, puzzle solving, mystery games. Just the slider until the lane is barely visible. Well, I mean, let's go with this. Mansion groundskeeper goes missing. Haunted spirit kidnapped him. Elena, no! Wortham's War. That is a dangerous road hazard and should not be OSHA approved. A space to pick up the amulet? I thought I'd lost it. Eat open the inventory. My family's heirloom has been passed down countless generations. Alright. Willow's Family Catacombs. What is this place? I'm so lost and Mom doesn't know where I am, but I'm supposed to be looking for Dad. I have to find a way out of here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just get out of here, I'll find some signs of my dad. I won't give up. Okay. Yep, that's... <sighs> In bones, but why? Okay, so it looks like. Mm hmm? Girl, hear me, girl. Your power calls to me. Elena, the amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the. Huantano Tri. Huantaco Tribe? My grandfather. It glows in the presence of spirits and boosts your shamaning powers. Let it be your guide. Whoa. Flying hawk. The spirit and your ba body may drift from one another, but must be joined as one in the end. A fragmented life cannot be lived. I lost my body and look at me now. But perhaps you can help me find it. I shall reside within your amulet and teach you to fend off the darkness. Whoa. Flying Hawk's ghost. Oh, okay. We can... There's a crack above that door. Use it to get to the other room. Ooh, okay. Glowing objects can be possessed. Move closer and possess the switch lever. Good. 
Good work, Alina. Now rejoin your body and spirit. Whoop. Whoosh. First contact achieved. Flying Hawk. I can hardly believe it. I just met a ghost. His name's Flying Hawk, and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power, and he taught me how to use it. Now I can take control of my spirit. It's just what I need to help find Dad. I was feeling pretty worried for a little while, but I don't think anything can stop me now. For opening, what else can we... Okay, climb ladder. Mm -mm. Not curious enough to look inside. I don't blame you. New note. Flying Hawk. I saw it through the skies. I sat atop a great eagle's bald head. I was carried further up beyond the clouds until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods molded the world and used their own bodies for the clay. They tore out their hearts for the earth's core, and their blood is the water we drink. We walk about, the, about their dirt flesh and rock bones. When all that was left were the hands they used to shape the world, their fingers became the trees that cover our land. It is to them that we owe everything. We must honor our eternal bond and live in harmony with the great spirit. The spirit realm calls me more often than it did before. As high shaman of the Quantaco, I must heed its call and relate to my people what the great spirit has shown me. Hmm. Whoa. Indeed. Okay. Mm -mm. Hmm? There's a crescent moon shape on the door. Mm -mm. I don't know what shift does, but... Whatever it does, Alien does not want to do it. Okay. Saving. Oh no. Another ladder. Hmm? What's in all these crates? Oh, note. Oh, were the willows. My dearest mother has fallen dreadfully ill. She's contracted a case of dysentery. The physician we brought with us believes she will live, but I'm in a constant state of worry. I care for her day and night. Surely she cannot care for herself. It pains me that she cannot see the beautiful land we pass through. I feel as though the sight would do her well. But the physician has warned that she must move, nor be moved by any. Else her fragile state could go into disarray. I pray to God that he will save her. I can do not but wait and pray. Hmm. Oh, okay. Coffin of Jeremiah Moat. This coffin looks like it was made in a rush. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Whoa. Ming Zhang. Mortha made this door without a keyhole to restrict access to all but himself. Nobody knows what's in there, though. I've only heard rumors. Huh. Get through here. We can pull that switch to close the door and then get through the top of it. We can go this way. That's a different ladder. There's also a door here. Which goes who really knows where. 
burn. Mm -hmm. Seems a lot of people have died here. It's locked. Storage is written on the door. Okay, so don't go in this way. We can go upstairs. Note. Flying Hawk. The Great Eagle returned and took me upon its bare crown again. We flew into the air and rested on the clouds. I could see beyond the horizon, and what I saw choked the breath from my lungs as my heart was wrenched from my chest. The earth turned in on itself, and so too did my skin. The world was in certain upheaval. Pale figures marched across the land and brought with them the blankets of death that covered my people as they slept. I saw plumes of dust darken the sky. No plants grew, and giant black rivers cut across the land like infected veins. Monstrous-looking beasts of metal and industry will fill our land and destroy the bonds we have worked so hard to nurture. Accurate depiction of industrialization. Really, that's a big thing. Oh, my grandpa's in one of these. Big thing we miss now. Just that respect for nature. Willard Hagger. R.I.P. Willow's estate groundkeeper. Hmm. Ceiling crack. Okay. This door is locked. If we can... <laughs> pop through here. Whoa. That's the... We are underneath a tree right here. We can pop in here. And that was space. Woo! Okay. Storage key. Oh. Storage is where exactly? Pulley system. Oh. Pulleys look like they would. Oh. They work something below me. Maybe that crypt door down one lever? level? Storage room was through here. And down here. Well, that doesn't sound good. That seems like danger. Heavy moved. <laughs> Anastasio Arbor. This lever opens the crypt door. Wortham hid the lever in here to keep his secrets from escaping. I wonder if that'll actually hurt me if I try and walk by it. I don't particularly want to find out. I do kind of want to see what's in here, though.
Okay, so that's kind of a hint that I need to go down. How do I actually get back there? Oh, yep, we're in here now. Key with the crescent moon on the end. Oh, shit. Oh, that's not ideal. Okay, that's why we are in here. Okay. Yep. Whew, I ain't afraid of no ghost. The growing darkness has plagued this place since my death. Fest is beneath the surface like an infected soil. In exchange for my teachings, you must in turn assist me, Elena. I need you to find my body, and you're the only one who can help. Okay. A map system would have been kind of nice. Have we been in here? Oh yeah, we have. As we open this. Hole in the wall. Who could have could have made this? I don't really want to know. Okay, popped out of here. Now this is the key out of here. Yep, here we go. We are free? Evil unleashed. What, what on earth was that thing? I felt like I was living one of my nightmares. I could feel it feeding on me, on my spirit. Ah, oh, I'm so tired. But I have to keep going. I'm the only one that can find my dad. The demon's gone now, and I'm almost out of here. I promised Flying Hawk I'd help him find his body. I'm not sure, but I felt like the guest house is where I should look first. Okay. We can run outdoors by holding shit. Okay. We can run outdoors, but not indoors. What a neat old fountain. I'm surprised it still works. Leave the garden. Hmm. I can't open it. Oh. Something's glowing. Oh, hello. Skyflower. Did you see the white men? I'm picking flowers for them. Flying Hawk says we should be peaceful. Ah. Alright, new note. John Elkhorn. I've been hired as the groundskeeper of the Willows Mansion here in town. It's not my ideal work situation, but at least it's income for now. It should just be temporary for me anyway, but 
I can't stay unemployed with a family to provide for. I have to make sure I'll be able to send Elena to a good school and buy her the things she needs. It's actually really lucky to come across this opportunity. The old groundskeeper suddenly decided he'd had enough of this place after thirty-some years of watching over it. He quit on the spot. It was an immediate higher position. I didn't have much experience with this kind of thing. Aside from landscaping when I was seventeen years old or so, but they needed someone and appear as though I'm that someone. Hmm. So a note from Elena's papa. Pocket. What is so worn with age? Don't have time to rest yet. I don't know what that statue is. front of the mansion. Oh, enter the guest house. Front of the mansion. Where else can we go from here? Wortham Willows. Young Marcus wishes to visit me here, but I've taken up residence inside of a meager farmhouse, and I commissioned the men to build for me. I do not wish for him to see me living in such a hut, but my means now allow me to live rather more comfortably. So I decided to build a mansion fitting my rising wealth and stature. As my wealth grows, so too shall my mansion in the extravagance of its grounds. My quaint farmhouse shall be converted into a guest house, as I plan to host functions that will make me famous on this side of the country. I hope to have much in order when he arrives, such that we may spend ample time visiting together. He's informed me within his letters of how much he has grown. I truly cannot wait to see the boy. It's been far too long. I look forward to seeing him and getting a glimpse at what of his mother has shown up inside him. Or the Willows, obviously the first. The man to build this mansion. Hmm. Okay, we need a vine cutting tool. Petty Officer Holmes. I tried to take my crown at the old Willows Conservatory. Didn't have anything to cut the vines with. Thank you, Holmes. Okay. Interesting that it lets us explore. Okay. Attach the bucket there. Oh, man. Can enter the well. Well, I don't really know if I want to go in there right now. Madame Luke. Oh my, it has been quite chilly as of late. And Mitchell Hursk, please take my coat. A lady such as yourself shouldn't go cold. Wow, why such a gentleman? I thank you kindly, sir. Oh, I assure you, this the pleasure is all mine. Fleur La Rue. I arrived in California last week and have luckily already managed to find work for myself. I am a dancer at the local saloon. It is not the most glamorous life here I have imagined, but it is something, and that is all I need for now. The saloon also runs a brothel in its walls, but I could never resort to such a profession. Most of the town is owned by a man named Wortham Willows. I have not seen the man, but his name is on the lips of almost all I meet. He even owns the saloon where I work. There are rumors about him, some good, some bad. I do not know which to believe. Hmm. I wonder what this place looked like at its front. Ooh. Oh, back to the mansion. What can we do on this side? Tool shed. Hmm. 
We were kind of directed to go to the guest house first. After getting our bearings here. I think this is where we shall be. Go mm -hmm. back. I won't hang Dad's jacket up there. Oh, so we... That's Dad's jacket. That's sweet. The door. Ooh. Alonso Martinez. Hey there, little lady. Let me play a tune that's as pretty as you. Um, huh. No, that's not it. Hmm. Must apologize, little lady. I can't remember how it goes. I don't have my sheet music either. You can find my sheet music. I'd love to play you a song. Simple enough, Grand Piano. Wish I could hear someone play this. Hmm? Flying Hawk? It's been many a year since the great bald eagle first visited me. Its visit is always a sign. I must take great care to decipher the meaning of my vision. Put in my stomach warns me of what I could what could be if I do not. I flew once more with the great bald eagle. This time he did not show me what was or what will be. No, he instead showed me what already is. I traveled east across the land to where the white men live their busy lives, live in their busy cities with their busy lives. They are removed from the great spirit's presence, ruled by a different god, one that manifests their destinies. I could see the spread of their, these people, like a sickness within the body they grow and expand. I saw trails before them that blazed with fire and gold and glimmered in the men's eyes, and they were entranced by it. As their fortunes they saw within the fires that these white men desire. Riches these men shall seek, but only turmoil and death shall they find. I woke violently from my trance, my blankets drenched in sweat. We must ready ourselves for their coming. It must be the cure for their sick spirits. And on us, then whom? The duty falls to my people, but we are those who have been shown the way. We must protect our way of life. Not through violence, but through communion with nature, and with one another. Honestly? Capitalism? Our desire for money? Leads to only destruct blind destruction. Tearing down trees in the rainforest to build resorts and hotels. All to bring in more money. Destroying nature. It's something to be said there. Something to be said there. Hmm? What's gonna say that looks like something, but Flying Hawk. At last they come. It was foretold to me years ago, but the visions are still fresh within my mind. We have heard from tribes we trade with that the white man is on his way. The expeditions to the west have come and gone, and they have found it a place worthwhile. The other tribes bring news of the east. What we have heard does not bode well, but it aligns with what the great bald eagle showed me. We have heard tell that this white man is violent, that he kills indiscriminately for gain and for pleasure. Heedless of his god's laws. We must now do more than ever to show the white men that we can live together in peace. We are all creatures of this earth, and we share in that common bond. We shall accept them as the brothers to us that they are. And it's not going to go quite as well as that, is it? Whoa, Willard Hagger! So many, so many slaughtered. All those natives, and the, their blood on our hands. We'll be damned. Damned, I say. Our souls damned to hell. Hmm. I saw your grave in the catacombs. Interesting. Mom would throw a fit if our nice channel looked like that. Don't think there's anything we can explore through there. Stove? What a crazy looking stove. It's old fashioned. Okay. Oop. Upstairs.
stairs we get. Hmm? Not sure what the purpose of this is, but... Oh. We can pop through there. Oh, the door's stuck. Let there be light. Bed. I'm tired, but I can't rest until I find Dad. Alright. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well. Up through here. Oh. Oh. It's a spirit maze. Is that just a dead end? Or does that go somewhere else? Okay. What? Oh no. There's more. Shit. <laughs> All right. Okay. Nope. Not that way. Hey, yes, this way. Is just plain stuck. What is through here now? Oh, that oh, that's just a crawl space. Okay. At least now we can get into this room over here. Page of sheet music. I wonder what the tune sounds like. Mm -mm. Oh, no spreading indoors. I don't know why there's that limitation, but uh, there is. It does look significantly lighter in here. Oh. Uh. So creepy. I keep expecting it to move. Yeah. Oh, there's a door here. That door's locked. You can go through here, though. This door's locked. Huh. No wheels or anything. Oops. Come on. Flying Hawk, five or five. A group of young braves spied a party of white men coming from the east. We do not yet know anything about them. It is my hope that they will be of no danger to us. However, we must be ready. 
We must ready ourselves for our action, if need be, all the while pressuring, presenting open arms to these new friends. We have prepared food so that our visitors may share in our bounty, and we wish to welcome them. Some of the women and children have prepared, them, prepared themselves to flee if these men turn violent. Something I asked of them to do. I hate to think of it, but we will need people to continue our line. Among those women and children are my daughters, granddaughters, and grandsons. If I cannot save myself, I can at least save them. But if I have none, I have no doubt these white men will regard us well. So long as we show ourselves to be welcoming and civilized, they will see us as their own. Until they need something from us. Until they need our land. Until they need our resources. Then we become expendable. Okay, what is in here? Whoa, hello. Oh yeah, you okay? Lenore Freed. I'm the one they want make I'm the one they make get water from the well. The only one. So I left the bucket back in the garden. And they can't find me. What do they get what do they do? Go thirsty. That's right. Hmm. Oh. That's kind of a disturbing implication. <laughs> oh my. Wait, what is this place? That's a very concerning implication. Um. Suddenly I don't want to go in that room. <laughs> I'm good, thanks. Okay. Oops, I don't actually want to do that. I want to go. Downstairs. We did go up there already, didn't we? I feel like we did. At any rate. very least now. We didn't go in here, did we? Oh yeah, we did. No, we didn't. There's a note here. I think I just get dirtier in here. Agreed. We're the Willows. All my prayer, all my devotion did nothing to save Martha. I don't even have the resources to build a proper casket for her. God has truly forsaken us both. I couldn't just leave her there in the desolate plains for the rats and maggots to have at her. No, I shall protect her even now, even in death. We will carve a home together out of the wilds of the west. She will come with us, and shall not be interfered, interred until I have found a suitable place for her. If any man dares object to my decision to bring Martha with us, no matter his reasons, I shall in that very instant shoot him dead. Hmm. Lack of proper burial rites never seems to be a good sign in games dealing with death and spirits. Ah, oh, thank you, Elena. Thank you. I've been so lost without the gift of music in my life. Now I shall play for you the song I promised. We must be getting close. Okay. We must dig, Elena, and uncover what lies beneath. Dig. Hmm. 
Need something to dig with. Okay. Do we need to come back? gonna say there is a tool shed. Making sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, this is the tool shed. Need something to dig with. Got a note. Oh, Elkhorn. I've heard stories of this place when I was growing up from my grandparents and we learned about its history in school, but I never knew who to believe. The stories from my family told dark history of brutal genocide and inhuman enslavement of our people, the Quantaco natives. The history I learned in school was quite different. Rotham Willows, the forebearer of this place, was depicted as an independently wealthy tycoon around whose endeavors the town sprouted. The thing is, I can see evidence for both sides of the argument. And that evidence is strewn about these grounds. Hmm. Yeah. Wow, look at this shovel. I wonder how old it is. It'd be nice to have a cutting tool, but... I guess we'll get there later on. Got our digging implement. Oop. What? Oh no, this... This is it, right? If have unearthed these anguished souls of the dead. Elena, go! Get out now! Oh, fuck! Oh, God. Oh, God. That's not ideal. I am baffled by this, Elena. I was sure my body would be found here. I remember falling. Falling down into darkness. A pit of despair. Please, Elena, we must continue the search. Hmm. Lying Hawk's body was never down there to begin with. You have fun there, my friend. I would imagine there's nothing... Not much else to do in here. Grass would get straws. So much in this place I don't understand. Why there's such a feeling of darkness here? Why would someone want to take my dad? Flying Hawk doesn't know enough to give me solid facts either. I have so many unanswered questions, it makes me want to cry. My energy feels so sad from everything I've seen, but it doesn't matter. I have to keep searching, no matter what. So it's obvious that there was some torturing and jazz going on in there. And... A lot of nasty stuff going on. In front of the mansion. Observatory. The well was at the front of the mansion. Oh. This is probably a bad idea. Oh yes, we're getting close. I feel my body's presence nearby. This is far enough. My body lies in the dirt just beyond the walls of this well. Oh. Thank you for your help, Elena. I would have wandered endlessly throughout this world without you. Can now finish the journey to your to the afterlife. 
I wish you luck in finding your father. I assure you he lives, but you must hurry. I'll be watching over you. Goodbye, Elena. You can finally rest in peace now, Flying Hawk. Because of you, I know my dad's at the mansion somewhere. Thank you for everything. Unfortunately, now we're left alone. Try and figure things out on our own. Flying Kong's gone now. He's resting in peace somewhere. I'm happy for him. I really am. He'd wanted this world for far too long. I just wish he didn't have to leave me all alone. I feel a bit lost without him. He didn't leave me with nothing, after all. I don't think I would have gotten this far without his help. Thanks to him, I know what I have to do. I've got to find my way into the mansion now. It's so big and scary looking from the outside. I really don't want to do it. If it means finding my dad, I'll do anything I have to. Okay. It's the same pair of lovebirds. It is. Okay. They probably don't have anything new to tell us. Oh, Wortham's Warrior. <clears throat> oh boy. I have no idea who this is. Oh. Darby O'Halloran. Oh, just a wee lass. Wortham's his Wortham's be best met. You won't be getting past me. You don't want to see the likes of you. Me wife's more inclined to waste her time with little girls. Okay. Oh. Well, we can wiggle past you. Whoosh. We're the Miller's Five. I met with the Quantaco Shaman this morning, a man named Flying Hawk. We met to discuss the bartering of this land, but our conversation took a turn. He told me that this area was rife with spiritual power. The veil between this life and the next was thinner here than elsewhere. We spoke of Martha, that he could help me see her again. I believed him, and he offered me his peace pipe. I wasn't sure, but the man told me he would help me to free myself. I partook of the strange smoke he gave me, and the man told me I must let go of her if I wished to see her again. That my spirit must be pure. We sat in meditation for some time. My mind raced all the while. A bout of paranoia seized me, and I realized what this medicine man was trying to do. He would have me abandon my hopes for the future, have me live a life of savagery. I knew he was trying to poison my mind, and I would have wagered that the smoke was of nefarious intent as well. I refused to abide such insolence. I stood from my seat and challenged the necromancer to fight me. But he did not stir. I wrapped my hands around his throat, but still he did not move. I squeezed until I felt the life leave from his body, and he slumped down. I released my grip, and my fingers peeled from his skin as he fell back from me. I exited the teepee and gave my men the order to purge these vile savages from the earth, as God would command, as God would command me to. Darby even made the first kill. I would be proud of him, but he trembled by his horse for the rest of the battle. It was just a little girl. They're savages, after all. Ouch. Hmm. This is awesome. Maybe Wortham didn't have such bad taste after all. This? Something I can possess. Elcord 3? 
among the few remaining of my bloodline descended from a line of powerful shamans. I may not have the powers they once did. My attunement with nature remains the same. It's taken me some time to recognize it, but there's a subtle energy at play here that permeates the very air I breathe. The veil between the planes of life and death in this place is thin. The spirits seem to pass between planes as though, as though through osmosis. It's almost indescribable the way I can feel their presence here. I want to know what it all means. Okay. Let's just start bobbing through here, and... Whoa, hello. Okay, I can't open that door. Oh, hello. Can I move you down the hole? Oh, shit. What goes up must, co must come down. Well, I'm not getting back now. Claire O'Halloran, my poor Darby. His murder was never found, despite my efforts. I was looking into his death, but something stopped me. To this day, I don't know what it was. Please help me, Elena. I can't rest until his murderer is found. Hmm. Oh, hello. I'm back here now. Whoosh. Oh, that door's locked. We're the Martha and Marcus, the whole happy family. I know you're in here. Oh. Something over here? Darby really was best mates with Willows. Uh, uh, uh. I am hitting up, right? Okay, there we go. Spawning in the wrong set of stairs. Before I gave way here, this place isn't very safe. Alright, let's just go right up here. What's down here? Oh. Trophy room key. Ooh, okay. It, 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 it. Oh, okay. Wait, can we. <laughs> can we literally boop this up here? It, it. meant to do this. Well, I can't get you up through the hole. Can I? Well, shit. Mistakes were made. Oh, there we go. Wow, this key is such fine detail. I'm digging you with me.
Okay. We got a trophy room key out of that. See what we can get through up here. Ah. Darby O'Halloran. Today is a day of excitement, to be sure. I'm traveling off with my best mates worth a million, Mr. the Great Unsettled West. We seek our fortunes there, and I dare say we will face many a danger. I had I have heard tales of beasts and the savages that await us. Wortham is but a gentle man and lacks my, si my size, so I feel it my duty to protect him on all my journey. Without him and his, I do not know what would have become of my family. The widows gave us work when no one other would. I feel it is my duty to keep him safe no matter what happens. I will shoulder his burdens the best I can. Oof, and shoulder them you did. Shoulder them you did. Much to be had in here. Fox. Huh? I thought it said something. Uh, what does the fox say? Ha uh, ha. Uh. Oh my. Court and four. I've enjoyed delving into the mysteries of this place. There's so much to learn. I'm not referring to all the books and pieces of history that just collect dust. No, I speak of something else entirely. When I was a boy, my grandfather taught me to commune with nature. It was the most spiritual endeavor I could hope to perform. At the time, I didn't know what he meant. Spending time here has opened my eyes to the truth of the old man's sage words. I can admit in these pages that I've seen things no other living man has seen. I ventured beyond the mortal coil and found the earth on the other side. I've come back, but not wholly unscathed. I feel marks upon the fabric of my soul. What that means, I don't yet know. What have you found here, Dan? There's obviously lots of lingering death and spirits and jazz here, but... Did someone sleep up here? Cool. Emiko Minami, Ohio. I'm one of Wortham's many guests. A pleasure to meet you. Oh. Fleur la rue. My hands tremble and it is all I can do to hold the pen as I write herein. I've even missed the inkwill on a few occasions. Well, I just come home from the most wonderful evening of my wife, of my life. I feel I need to catch my breath. Wortham Willows, the town's mayor, the richest, most influential man for hundreds of miles around, took me out for the night on the town. What a night it was, notwithstanding the secrecy. I had never been treated so much like royalty, I could not believe it. Every second I was there, and felt it was amazing. I truly had a feast with dishes that covered every inch of the table. Afterwards, he treated me to a play. I had never been to a play before. My head still swims from all the fine wine and excitement. He is truly a romantic gentleman, this Wortham William Willows. I hope to see him again soon. But for now I must rest. I can feel my heart flutter in my chest. Mm. Let's do that. Let's pop into here a second. Shield. Oh, that's that's a switch. That's something. Red and angry in here.
danger. Okay, so it won't actively harm me until it decides to actively harm me, but just for now, the red seems very malicious. Bison. What a cute bison. I just want to take it home with me. Hmm? Darby O'Halloran. Oh, the men were the precluded look at me differently now. I see the disdain for me plain on their faces. You know, they whisper about me behind my back, calling me a coward and worse things I will not repeat here. Wortham has given me a job as a supervisor of the mines, as good a job as I could hope, but seem as though they want simply to lump all the immigrants together. I still see that little girl in my dreams, and the look on her face as she realized what I was doing. I see her when I walk into town, but it's never her. My mind is playing tricks on me. I do not know how long I can stand it. Seeing her troubles be to no end. And I wake in the wee hours of the morning, drenched in sweat, my heart racing. I still have my shirt from that day, and I wear it under my clothes at all times to remind me of my evils. Oof. Hmm. Too many old books. I wonder what they're about. What's this? A letter from Wortham. Letter to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, I have sent you this letter in secret. I need your help as well as your silence. Darby O'Halloran has died by my hand. His madness had overtaken his mind. Though he was my best and longest friend, I cannot bring myself to handle this corpse. I have a room and casket in the catacombs that I want you to place his body in. I shall visit it later. I also ask that you keep the grave unmarked. You are the only one I can trust with this task, Jeremiah. Once again, request your silence on this matter. Where the mill is. Ooh. Ooh. So obviously we needed to get past Darby. In order to get further. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. Hmm. Y'all are lurking. I don't really like you. Oh, you're going for a walk. Okay. I feel like you're actually gonna hurt me if I run into you. I mean, I don't really want to take the chance. Okay. Goodbye. I think I may have dodged a bullet there. Itsy bitsy. I'm going to assume that's an achievement for not getting hurt by the spider. Just got a note there, though. All right. Yeah, 
You want to know who your husband's killer is? There was one other that knew of Witham's deed. Before I met my end, I was to have a secret meeting with him. Toolshed. Four o'clock in the morning. He was going to tell me everything. Toolshed. Hmm. Now, Darby, are you still here? What's this you bought me? No. No. They're lies, I tell you. Lies. Wuthan wouldn't do this. We're just trying to poison me against him. Poison? Huh. We were having scotch last I remember. What does it matter? Why don't you just leave me alone? Bugger off, little girl. Let me alone. Now me, me wife Claire babysits. Go bother her, girl. Mmm. Some measure of peace meant for poor Darby. Tool shed, though. There's Jeremiah. I ain't supposed to tell, but Mr. Wortham asked for my, for my help one night. I dug a grave for Mr. Darby. Kept it a secret till now, but I couldn't hold it in anymore. Buried him deep in the catacombs in a locked room where no one would find him. You can have the key to the room. I just want to wash my hands of the whole thing forever. Bloody key, oof. Buried him deep in the catacombs in a locked room where no one would find him. Oof. With friends like these, I just can't believe it. That man worth of me and Darby were best friends, and he killed poor Mr. Halloran. Why? Why would he do that? They were best friends. They never mentioned in school that he was a murderer. They only said the nicest things about him, how he helped tame this wild land. Now it was thanks to him our town existed. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. School history books, they're always written by the winners. <laughs> Nothing's ever quite as clean as it is in the sanitized stories. Assume that our next stop is going to be back to the catacombs. Let's check up on these two just to be sure. in a museum. <laughs> okay, so it looks like that's where we're going next. We have the key to get us in there. Search for poor Darby's body.